it's one of those uh, feelings that you get that must be akin to a, 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 a violinist that's on stage, you know, and he gets to play for the performance of his life. You do that with every painting and you try and improve yourself with each uh, piece and um, that's a standard that you set for yourself. I, I've always painted, even when I was in high school, when I first started getting commercial jobs, um, which is very early, I, I always wanted to do something that was somewhat different so that it made me stand out. Um, I have always tried to not be one of the gallery painters because that road tends to lead to commercialism. Um, so my work, you'll see, is somewhat different in that it's heavy in concept and I may be one of the few people that actually has uh, the ability to paint uh, realistic uh, narrative work, which is uh, work that tends to have a story behind it. If there was a journey, then it was that I learned how to paint through doing commercial work, um, because you have to paint really well and really fast. Because I started out actually doing the early Atari covers. Um, I was excited about a lot of the jobs that I got, like the Encarta series, those were fun. Um, that was digital stuff, but I've also done stuff for Packard where I've done huge posters and um, lots of book covers, lots of magazine covers. That's I started out doing magazine covers. Uh, a lot of oil paintings, a lot of portraits. Uh, and then, I, then when I got into the, the digital work, which was a real surprise to a lot of people, um, including myself, I didn't think I'd enjoy it that much. But um, there is a way to do, uh, to take a lot of the 2D work that I was doing and now I'm animating it. I'm actually bringing it into uh, three-dimensional forms and making those figures move. The books that I'm writing tend to be about magic or whatever but they they still it's a spiritual background that um, it, it's a trilogy really good story uh, about family and friends and how they become uh, they find that they're all heroes in their own way it, it allows me to write and illustrate and put the whole package together. Um, it's got all the little bells and whistles, you know, it's got sound effects and, and parts of the, and the illustrations will blow up, they're high res, and then the animations inside there are, uh, what's really fun for me is to combine the digital work with the traditional techniques um, and the, the guys that I know that are really good like my friend Chris Hopkins and some other people they all have that same attitude is that they're they're lifelong um, learners 